some melody. That was the ending. That was like background. I don't know if you guys heard that in that part, but. Isn't that so cool? So we now move on to hoist the colors. I really, really like this one for many reasons. I have such a big attachment to this song um, and it really, really shapes my heart in a sense that it has a special place in my heart. And at the same time, it, it really just captures the essence as to how pirates are misled in folklore and people view them as bad when really they're just they're just misfits. They just like to have fun, you know? <laughs> so yes, yeah, Hoist the Colors was a really fun song to make. I will say it was one of the hardest ones to produce, though, because I had so many ideas in, in mind, and so many things were going through my head at once, and, and so many things to time perfectly, and that was so freaking hard. <laughs> so for some context, if you guys don't know Hoist the Colors, it's, it's actually a song written by Hans Zimmer. I was inspired by this song when I watched the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie for the first time. I was sitting in my living room and I was watching it and there was the scene of the little kid singing Hoist the Colors. And I just started to tear up so badly because it just made me realize how good the directors and the screenwriters were for this movie because they wanted to really make um, pirates look like as if they're good people, but they're being hanged just because they're being themselves. I was completely blown away, and I was so teary-eyed at that scene. So, once I finished watching it, the next couple days, I started to, like, come up with, like, a melody in my head as to, you know, what sound should I do for this cover? Because I wanted to make a cover. Like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, I gotta do a cover of this. So I did it, and I actually you know, kind of came up with like sounds of my guitar and all those other things in mind. Um, and so, yeah. So then once I kind of had those ideas in mind, I put it together in GarageBand and I was sort of like, okay, I want this to capture Hoist the Colors for its lyrics, but at the same time, I want my own version of it. So what would Hans Zimmer want for an original artist to do the such? Because I didn't want to copy him. That was that was not my goal. I wanted, I wanted it to be so original that nobody else has heard it because there were so many covers already from people that do Hoist the Colors or, you know, Weller Man or um, Leave Her Johnny, Leave Her, you know. And so I wanted it to be as original as possible. So I went to pop, which nobody does, honestly, with sea shanty music. And I was very scared to try it, but once I released it onto my EP, it became one of the most popular tracks, and I was so thankful for it because I realized that the direction I was hopping to was the right one. And although it's a little weird at first, I realized that I was doing the right thing. And so I'm thankful that I made it more pop-like, and I made it more R&B even, to say. And I included, you know, harmonies that made it sound like as if you were still in the ocean. And so it's just kind of cool. And I also wanted it to kind of rewind back to the theme of like, you're just being a pirate. Why are we being ridiculed for being pirates? Or why are we being ridiculed for who we are as people? And so that was just such an important theme that I felt like I had to really capture. <laughs> 